Hi my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your February reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome. And those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Those of you guys that are following me on Instagram or Facebook, as well as on here, the links to those are in the description box below. You're automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free reading at the end of the month. I am choosing this month's winner in the next couple of days, but this is something that I do every month. Um, the link to personal readings, I am back and up uh, running with personal readings, so those of you guys that messaged me, feel free to book. Um, so the link for that is in the description box below, as well as the link to your extended, where we're going to take a deeper look at how your person feels about you, what you need to know about them, what do they want you to know, what are their true intentions, what are they hiding, their favorite thing about you, what drew this person towards you, as well as the best outcome and the best advice for you guys moving forward. We will also take a look at the Lover's Oracles and some Romance Angels um, for the extended as well. If you are on my Instagram, uh, Saturdays we do the free extended giveaways and I will be doing random pop-up question giveaways over there as well. Alright guys, so let's take a look. What can we get for my beautiful Scorpios? Show me what Scorpios need to see for February. What messages can we get for Scorpios for February? <clears throat> the high priestess trust your intuition guys i feel like all right messages for scorpio i feel like some of you guys have a spiritual path or spiritual journey that has un um untapped the empress i love this energy very venusian energy here um yeah i feel like some of you guys have some unhidden or hidden untapped potential when it comes to your spirituality that you guys are going to be tapping into here. You guys are realizing how strong, how powerful your intuition is and trying to learn to trust it. Learning that you don't need to, you know, have self-doubt. You don't need to overthink things. You can just go with your gut and know that that's right the first time because you're realizing how many times you've known something but you haven't said anything until you fully saw the proof and you were always right, right? So because of that, you're learning to trust your instincts here. With this Empress card, you are very abundant this month. I mean, you guys are looking absolutely beautiful, absolutely handsome, very attractive. You're attracting a lot of people towards you here. You are just looking like you're glowing. Some of you guys may be pregnant here because what I'm getting is like the pregnancy glow. So either you're pregnant, some of you might have given birth to a new idea, given birth to a new mindset, or you're just honestly just feeling really good and balanced within who you are, right? Some of you, this is just your own independence and how independent and successful you made yourself feel here there are opportunities and people that are going to be almost like throwing themselves at you like flies is what i'm sensing here people are noticing your beauty um more than ever people are noticing the way that you dress you're going to be getting a lot of compliments on the way that you dress as well there's a lot of romantic suitors those of you in relationships i feel like i'm sensing like your partner may get annoyed because maybe you're like big on social media or um if that's not the case and you're just gonna get somebody that's gonna randomly come up to you and compliment you and your partner's not going to really um be happy about this the nine of wands here you may be a little bit cautious as to where all this attention is coming from as to you know why people are starting to look at you and you know a different way. I think that you guys are definitely going through a spiritual evolution here. I think you guys are going in an evolution within yourself, getting closer to your destiny here. You are being your own authentic truth. And I feel like there are some people here with this high priestess energy that are people that you should be a little bit cautious of, people that you're not realizing in your circle that do not want the best for you here. I feel like this is something uh, that's been coming out in your guys' readings a lot is there's people in your circle that don't want the best for you. You know, they want what's good for you when things are good for them, but when things aren't good for them, they don't really care what's going on with you here. And I feel like you're starting to be a little bit more cautious and have your walls up when it comes to people in your life. You're really, you know, analyzing every single person in your life and making a decision on who should stay and who should move or who should be removed. I do feel like your partner thinks about um, you a lot, the person that you're dealing with or the person that you're seeing. I think that this person is a little bit scared if you're just dating them, the chariot. Yeah, your person's a little bit scared um, wanting to move things quickly 
um, towards a commitment if this is somebody new because they are scared of your options or scared of the people that are around you. But I also feel like you're dealing with somebody that's a little bit intimidated by you, intimidated by how strong and how powerful you are. And I'm not saying that you're dealing with a weak person. I'm saying that you're dealing with somebody that's never experienced somebody like you. And I think that as much as this person's intimidated, it also is the same reason why they're so sucked into you, why they feel so, you know, pulled towards you, drawn to you here with the chariot here this could be uh some of you guys could be dealing with the libra i have taurus here i have cancer but your person is wanting to move things forward or you're wanting to move things forward i also feel that your life is heading into a new direction and some of you guys may be deciding to move or you may be traveling but it's like you are realizing that the power you're realizing that the wheel that shifts your life is in your control. You're realizing that you, you know, are the blueprint. You create your own destiny here. And I think you're making some sudden changes that are going to have people shocked. Messages for Scorpio. Definitely use your intuition when it comes to the people surrounding you. Some of you guys already know who these people are and they could just be family members or people that you've known for a while and you're having a hard time letting them go. But I do think that closer to the end of this month, you are going to realize that it is beneficial. You may like test it out going a few days without them, seeing how your energy is. Something is going to happen where you're going to realize that your life will be much better suited without these people, without having to look over your shoulder, right? We have the Four of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, because you're not making action. You're not making a move towards ending this, um, you know, feeling of having to look over your shoulder. So you're kind of like either waiting for it to come to fruition, waiting for you to see that this person truly doesn't have it out for you. But it's like you're sticking with the burdens here. I don't see you um, ignoring these people right away here. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. I do sense that there are people, if you are single, people that are interested in you, but there are still some burdens from your past relationship, baggage from your past relationship that you need to deal with. So for those of you that are still dealing with things from the past, you are going to, you know, you're going to look at the options that you have, but you're not going to entertain those options until you feel completely healed within yourself here, until you pick yourself up. You don't want, I'm getting like, you don't want somebody to come in and be able to control your emotions. So until you get control of yourself and you get control of your emotions, you're not really going to be taking any options when it comes to dating. You may have fun here and there, but you're not going to go into anything serious. All right, messages for Scorpio. We have the fool here. So this could be that by the end of the month, yeah, with the higher fin, by the end of the month, if you're not committed, you are going to be committed or you're going to be moving your relationship up because with this 10 of wands here being the burden, it's like you guys are realizing the 10 is also an ending, right? So this is something that has ended. And with the fool, it's like you're finally getting that... Um, you know, you're finally getting healed and you're finally able to, you know, not feel those burdens. Even though those things have ended, they were still weighing on you. They were still kind of controlling you in a way. And I feel like by the end of the month, that's going to break free and you're going to pretty much be reborn again, right? You're going to be going into, some of you guys were in like a really stalled death and rebirth process where you were going through the death process for like a whole month or a couple of weeks and you're finally going through the rebirth by the end of this month here. But with the fool, this is you not letting things control control you, not letting yourself feel weighed down or tied back. This is you going for it, going for whatever it is that you want with full faith, knowing that it will work out, knowing that things will go in your outcome here. Some of you are going to be jumping into a new relationship here. Some of you, this could be an Aquarius that you're going to be jumping into a relationship with. It could be a Taurus. But this is about, yeah, this is the Queen of Wands too. This person sees you as somebody that is just, I mean, like, wow. When I say this person is speechless around you, they're speechless around you. This could be somebody that is very attractive as well, but for some reason they just, um, they don't know what to say to you. I think you're just, you really intimidate them. I think it's your eyes, your intense eye contact, the way that you look at people like you're looking through them. You look at people like you can see everything about them, right? Like their deepest, darkest secrets are just written all over their face. Whatever it is, is this person is just you know, but they're just me uh, mesmerized. They're just mesmerized by you. And this person is coming in to offer you a serious commitment, or this is a person that you're already with, just kind of having those realizations that, you know, after however long, they still feel the same way about you and they want to take things to the next level. It's like you have somebody realizing that you're the one that they want to commit to. You're the one that they want to be in their life for a very long time. You're the one that they can see themselves, you know, growing old with, and going through all of these intense things that life 
you know throws at us and I mean that in the best way possible because I, I think that this person absolutely loves how you are when they're on their down days it's like no matter <coughs> sorry guys no matter how good or how bad things get, as long as you are with this person, they feel like they can tackle the world. This is like a power couple energy that I'm getting here. All right. Clarify the high, oh. Clarify the high priestess, please. <laughs> Clarify the High Priestess for Scorpio. The Sun. Something is going to be illuminated. Something that is hidden is going to be illuminated this month here. And I think um, as much as, you know, this is somebody, this could be a Leo in your life here. I've always found that for some reason, like Leo women, I'm a Scorpio and Leo women just don't like me. I think it's because like a Scorpio in some ways has its own spotlight. And as much as we don't like it, we attract it. And the Leos love the spotlight. They're, they're in love with it, right? So when a Scorpio walks in, I think like a Leo feels like their territory is threatened or something like that's just the vibe that I always get from Leo women like it's actually so insane um but at the same time it's like they're also very obsessed with with Scorpios and they're obsessed with who they are and how they are the way that they are right and I feel like that could be it for one of you one of you guys may have like a Leo that's trying to befriend you but when it comes down to it it's like they only want some of you this person just wants the perks that it, it that you um give them by being your friend right others of you this person wants to be successful off of what you built here but it's like behind your back this person truly doesn't want the best for you and I honestly think that it has to do with jealousy and it has to do with the um, insecurities that are within them here this person gets very insecure and it's not just you like this person latches onto people very easily and they do this to anybody that's in their life because they're not happy and satisfied with the way that their life is and I feel like you've been a very good friend to this person you've helped them a lot you have you know been there for them through thick and thin but you're realizing that it's not the same anymore so maybe this could have been a relationship where this person was jealous of you but either way whatever is hidden is going to be illuminated here it is absolutely going to be illuminated some of you are dealing with somebody who has a child and you're going to be finding out and i don't think that it's going to be anything bad though this is somebody that you're recently dating if this is the case and i think that you know you're gonna you're gonna be happy about it i think this person only hit it because they were a little bit scared that you would you know this person i think in the past had a situation where somebody found out they had a kid assumed it was going to be too much drama and then just kind of didn't even take them seriously so I think they wanted you to get to know who they were before they kind of showed you what else comes with them um but I don't see you being upset about that at all if that's the case okay clarify the empress for Scorpio The Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's communication coming in. There's a lot of communication coming in. Those of you that are single, there's a lot of flirty action coming in. Uh, somebody is going to be offering you um, to go out on a date. There's somebody that has been looking at you for a while, admiring you for a while, and they want to go out on a date. Uh, there's definitely messages about a new relationship coming in. Messages about, you know, some sort of abundant um, opportunity when it comes to your career as well for some of you here. But you are just manifesting things like on a whole nother level. And I feel like you really did go through a spiritual um, evolution where you are just glowing from the inside and it's just showing on the outside like I really truly feel like this is within you this is the inner work that you did and it's just showing on the outside like your aura is literally magic it's just like sparkles some of you are getting something that you've been working very hard for something that you almost gave up on clarify the nine of wands the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you do have a little bit of caution regarding your relationship and if it is going to get to the Ten of Pentacles or not. Some of you are dealing with somebody that you're wondering if they have a third party or not. And I feel like that ties into the situation where you're going to find out that somebody you're dealing with has a child with somebody. And others of you that are single and you've been single for a while, 
Um, I feel like some of you guys are just a little bit afraid that you're not going to get that Ten of Pentacles. It's like you have it in the back of your head that you're going to be alone forever. You have that in the back of your head. And even though, you know, being in a relationship isn't your number one priority right now, you, you want it to be, right? It's like some of you guys made a decision that you're going to put work above relationships, but you're just miserable. You're not even happy. And you're realizing that because of that, you're still focusing so much on the fact that you don't have a relationship that you might as well just balance out between both of them, trying to find somebody and doing your work because you're not getting anything done because you're just thinking about the fact that, you know, I think it's like timing. Like I'm getting like shaky. Like some of you guys are like, oh my God, I only have this many years left. Like I have to find somebody. Then I have to make sure they're good enough to marry. Then I have to, you know, we have to have children. Like some of you guys are freaking out because you think that you're getting too old clarify the chariot we have the six of wands here or sorry the six of swords so some of you guys that were um going through a split i definitely see that you guys are going to be moving forward things are going to be moving forward there is somebody that's coming towards you some of you this is somebody who's coming towards you across water um, like from a different country to see you this could be an online relationship that you met or you met this person or you may be traveling and you're going to be coming back with somebody if you do go on a vacation I definitely have a strong feeling that you're going to meet somebody who will come back with you and clarify the four of cups for Scorpio We have the four of cups with the chariot and the two of pentacles here so yeah you're trying to decide on what it is that you want to put your energy and your attention into here um it's like you're trying to decide what to move towards because right now you're ha you're having a hard time balancing out your life balancing out your day-to-day -day life and you can't even keep up with that so how are you going to you know how are you going to get a relationship right and you're also trying to balance out if the person that you have have in your life right now is going to you know be exactly what you need for the type of person that you would want to marry right so it's like you're balancing out you're weighing your options trying to decide not making a move holding back until you know clarify the ten of wands So we have the Ten of Wands with the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. So because of a heartbreak from the past or some sort of breakup, your stability has been a little bit wavered since then. I feel like some of you guys could have lost your job because you took off so much time. I feel like this you guys were went through a situation where you were absolutely, I mean, devastated. Some of you guys, you did this to this person and because of that, your karma was that your finances you know would be a little bit shaky a little bit rocky here but if this is somebody that had done this to you then you know this person is definitely going to get theirs I definitely see that I feel like this person feels a lot of regret for the fact that they hurt you and the fact that they kind of shook you up here but I feel like you are um you know with this fool it's like you're knowing that yes your stability kind of got flipped upside down but you you know that you have to you know pick yourself up and start all over again right but there definitely was some sort of heartbreak that kind of rocked your foundation rocked your foundation completely because I do know like I'm not this way anymore but when I was a little bit younger and I went through a heartbreak or if I went through something deep and intense I mean my whole world would flip upside down and now that I'm older and I'm a lot more spiritual I think it's because you know the whole re death and rebirth I think I had to make it a death so that I could be reborn or I would just stay in a stagnant situation so I think I would make the situations a lot worse than they had to be but ultimately so I could bounce back a lot stronger than I needed to be but sometimes it would be like days where I wouldn't eat I would just sit in my bed and just you know I don't even know what I would do it's actually been a very long time and I'm actually so grateful but there could be some of you that that's what you do you just shut out the world and you just kind of lay in your bed you don't eat you don't you know take care of yourself nothing because you're going through this intense you know thing intense feeling that only you can feel because you you know tend to keep things to yourself but I definitely sense that you know whatever heartbreak whatever situation happened some of you this could have even been an embarrassment or it could have been a business set up here but something happened um to flip you upside down when it comes to your stability others of you this could have been that you were betrayed when it comes to a business opportunity something that was supposed to bring you in a lot of money or you could have had somebody steal from you especially be careful i'm getting like a strong leo energy that you need to watch out for it's just two females that i see i don't see like a masculine leo energy i'm seeing like two female friends 
All right, so clarify the fool. The empress. So the strongest energy is the empress. Absolutely beautiful. So you are taking that leap of faith towards owning your power, owning your life, you know? This is... Some of you guys are definitely walking into a new relationship, but you're walking into... You know, you're also not letting the past hold you back anymore. You're feeling free. You're feeling like you're able to love and you're able to give love and receive love again. And I feel like you are just giving birth to new ideas, to new aspects. Some of you guys are taking a leap of faith towards being a beauty guru, a makeup artist. Some of you are going to try to make it big on social media here, try to create a platform for you to be heard here. All right, so let me pull for all of the signs. All right. So if you're dealing with a cancer, if you're dealing with a cancer, we have the nine of swords. If you're dealing with a cancer, I feel like this person is caught up in their head. If this is somebody from the past, they're caught up in their head and they have a lot of anxiety and fear about approaching you again. And if this is somebody that you're currently with, I feel like this person feels a little bit insecure around you. There's something about your confidence, something about the way that people look at you, the attention that you get that doesn't make this person feel like you will stay around. So I think you're going to have to reassure this person. If you're dealing with a Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces from the past, they want to work things out, they want to reconcile, and if this is a Pisces, um, a new Pisces, I feel like you're going to find that this person comes into your life at just the right moment here, and they really help to balance out you, balance out your life, and to help you to be a little bit more fun and spontaneous. If you're dealing with another Scorpio... If you're dealing with another Scorpio, we have the world with the Queen of Cups. If you're dealing with another Scorpio, there's going to be an ending here due to the fact that somebody wasn't able to speak. They were holding back how they truly felt here. I also feel like there could have been a tower moment between you and this Scorpio that caused an ending here. And somebody wants to say something to reconcile, but they're holding back. And because of that, by the time they do say this, it's going to be too late. If you're dealing with a Taurus... you're dealing with the Taurus from the past it looks like this person is focused on their work and they're not really wanting to you know put energy into this um and if you are dealing with I don't even remember what sign I said I think it was Taurus all right let's go with Capricorn if you're dealing with the Capricorn from the past it looks like this person is manifesting to be able to speak to word to you it's like they need help from somebody else or they need help from spirit whatever it is because they're not able to speak what they need to say to you it's like they're they're being held back by saying what they need so they're trying to figure out how they can express themselves to you um if you're dealing with a virgo If you're dealing with a Virgo we have the lovers here if you're dealing with a Virgo uh, from the past I feel like this person made the choice to be with somebody else and now they're regretting it and if this is somebody from your present then I do see that this is somebody that you know they probably did have options but you're the one that they want to choose there's a very strong soul connection that this person has with you they don't fully understand it but they know that you're somebody that they want in their life for a very long time and you make them really happy if you're dealing with a Taurus If you're dealing with the Taurus from the past, they have a lot of regret and fear um, and sadness due to the fact that things are ending. And if this is somebody in your present moment, I feel like they're not over the person from their past or they still have some sort of healing. Some of you, this person could have went through an, an actual loss of somebody in their family here, but there's a lot of healing around this person and I don't feel like they're stable enough to be in a relationship right now. If you're dealing with a Gemini... If you're dealing with a Gemini, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. If you're dealing with a Gemini, there's a lot of communication that needs to happen here. I feel like neither of you guys are clear on what's going on. If this is somebody new, this is the direction of the relationship. And if this is somebody from the past, then there's clarity that needs to be happening. But there's definitely, it's like you guys are on two different pages. If you're dealing with a Libra... 
if you're dealing with the Libra, we have the Seven of Cups. If you're dealing with a Libra from the past, I feel like they might have left you for somebody else. If you're de dealing with the current Libra, I feel like this person has a lot of options around them and they're very confused. I feel like this is somebody that wants to be single, but they want to entertain. I feel like they may have more than one person thinking that they're possibly going to get into a relationship with them. But at the end of the day, this person is just going to be single. They kind of say what they need to say to get what they want at the end of the day. If you're dealing with an Aquarius... If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Empress. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, it's the third Empress that popped out. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I find that this, if this is somebody from the past, this person wants a new beginning with you. They find you very abundant. And if this is somebody new, then they're probably thinking uh, long term with you. This person could want to have children with you. They see your potential. They see your worth. And they want to expand with you. They feel lucky in your presence. Lucky to be with you as well. If you're dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, we have the Four of Wands. If you're dealing with a Leo from the past, this person still wants to be with you. They still see a happy ending with you. And if this is somebody new, then this is the two of you guys coming into partnership. Some of you guys are definitely going to be meeting each other's parents. And others of you are going to be talking about um, engagements, talking about weddings. And I think that this has to do with you guys previously going to one or the fact that you guys are going to be going to one. And it's going to make you guys think about your relationship together. If you're dealing with an Aries. dealing with an Aries we have the nine of pentacles if you're dealing with an Aries from the past I feel like this person um they're happy that you're stable and that you're okay without them but they don't want a relationship anymore and if this is somebody from your current situation then I feel like this person is just focused on themselves building themselves right now and they don't really have time to give in a relationship they do want one but they just don't have the time so it wouldn't be fair and if you're dealing with a Sag If you're dealing with the Sag, we have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Wands. If you're dealing with the Sag, this person is coming towards you here. This person sees that you are, if this is somebody from the past, they probably have betrayed you and they see that you're happy without them and they're coming towards you. This person has definitely been looking at you, um, trying to see what it is that you're up to. They're not happy with what it is that they see. Maybe you're dating somebody else. And if this is somebody new, then I think that, you know, you're making them very, very happy and they're doing a little bit of digging on you just to see some things before they offer you to move their relationship further because they're thinking about the future with you. All right. So let me pull you guys one of these Oracle cards and then we'll go to the extended. All right, so we have Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Absolutely. And then we have Dancing with Life. Do something to change your energy. That's too bright. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did and you want to follow me to the extended, we're going to take a deeper look at how your person feels, what do they want you to know. All the questions are listed um, when you click to purchase it. All right, guys, so have a great week or have a great month, and I will see you next week. Bye.